smoke when we all celebrate success So now we... Hey guys, it's uh, what's the time? 25 to 11, Tuesday night. I was about to uh, get ready for bed when I remembered I need to get the sump. And I'll tell you guys about that in a second. So, there's two reasons why I need to get this uh, sump out of here. This is a brand spanking new sump. So, one of the things that I'm going to do with this uh, vehicle, and this is kind of future proofing it, is I'm going to have this sump baffled. So, what does that mean? Well, quite simply, they're going to weld a plate in about here and about here so there'll be two plates at the bottom of each plate and it's a steel plate it's going to run from the bottom all the way to the top the full width of the sump at the bottom of each plate there's going to be a little gate little uh, hinge so what this means is when the sump is filled with oil during hard braking when the vehicle is turning without it without these two gates the oil is going to rush all the way to the one side. So, with these gated uh, baffles in place, you'll have an equal amount of oil in each section of the sump. And that leads me to part two of what I'm going to be doing. Now, this is kind of self explanatory. <coughs> this is a windage tray. So, why a windage tray? So, with making sure that I have an equal amount of oil in each section of the sump, the windage tray also helps quite a lot, and I'll tell you why in a second. So my oil pump, if all goes well, will fit in here. It's got about an arm that sticks out like that. A little float that's going to go about here. Anyway, so that's going to suck the oil up to the top of the pistons lubricating the small end and the big end bearings and the crank and all of that. Now these grooves here, these are for the lobes of the crank. So as the crank turns the lobes are going to go through here. So basically what happens is oil dripping from the top of the engine is going to sit here first and then eventually drain down into the actual sump here at the bottom. Now these two items when paired together that's all just to help with oil pressure that's to make sure I don't ever lose oil pressure when I'm doing a track day or uh, the guys call it spirited driving but if I'm taking a corner really really hard I don't want the sump to ever suck up air uh, sorry the, the, the pump to suck up air so I just thought I'd take 10 minutes just to explain to you guys what I'm gonna do here uh, sorry guys I'm just packing this windage tray away and this is um, it's a worthwhile mod for any any golf um, I mean I could do it on my 3.5 cabrio as well the guys are gonna do this for me it will be Norbrake the same guy who did the brake calipers so yeah literally as I was getting ready sorry guys as I was getting ready to go to bed I uh, suddenly remembered hey I need to get the sump out of the garage so I thought, why not just, uh, <laughs> sorry guys, let me put this camera down. I thought, why not uh, take a few minutes just to chat to you guys, and uh, a bit of a random midweek upload, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and box this guy up. And this is kind of a precursor. What I want to start doing is all of this stuff. The anti-roll bars, the mounting clips and that kind of thing. These are old beadings, I'm going to chuck those. But the anti-roll bars need to be sandblasted and repowder coated. So I need to get the bushes off those. 
I'm gonna, if I can redo this guy red, this guy in black, I'll do the mountings in black. I want to do um, engine and gearbox mountings. Everything that needs to be powder coated, I want to try and send in at the same time. So this is sort of start one, and the reason why I want to start doing the powder coating is I want to start cleaning up the engine, cleaning up the gearbox, and putting all that back together in this engine bay. Um, a yeah, simple reason is I just want to get the engine and gearbox in so that's done and dusted, get the strut brace in. It's, it's better when the engine's in to, before I do the, uh, you know, this uh, strut brace. And that's the lower gearbox mount over there that actually needs to come off the car. Um, obviously there'll be a polyurethane bush that sits on top. Also red, like the, um, you know, these guys here. All the bushes are red. Um, so yeah, obviously I need to clean up all of this stuff in the engine bay. I need to get off my backside and get cracking with that. Put the, you know, the bushes in and that kind of thing. And the uh, the rubber grommets. The guys that go here, I just cannot find. I'm going to have to import them. Or just get some foam rubber and just kind of make my own. First prize would be to get the right bit, but I can always put the foam rubber in and take it out later. But anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. I need to pack this up and get to bed. I heard a cat screeding outside, so I need to figure out which, which one of the five cats that runs around this place that was. Jazz? What you doing, boy? Well, at least you're on those seats, not my tombstones, eh? Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, and yeah, I, they reckon it should take about a day. I'm going to try and get this to Norbreak tomorrow. Hopefully have it back by Friday and I can show you guys what it looks like. Uh, but let's see time frame goes. They reckon about a day, so I reckon fetching it Friday is a, a reality this week still. Otherwise, it'll be next week, Monday. But um, it'll be a while before this goes on. I just want to get this stuff done and dusted before it goes onto the car. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers for now. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more and be kept up to date, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram and subscribe to my channel. With your help we can get this project complete and move on to the next one. Bye for now.